Today I'm sharing the tips, tricks, and insider secrets that will help make your skincare routine easier and more effective. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Gosh, I have to tell you I'm excited about this video because this is the type of information I go to YouTube for. Don't we all want to know the little tips and tricks that are going to make something we're going to be doing so much easier? If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. A little more than two years ago, I launched on an anti-aging skincare routine. Now, mind you, <laughs> I knew nothing about skincare when I started, and of course, I made all the usual mistakes. But it is two and a half years down the road now, and I'm a little bit more familiar with anti-aging skincare, actually quite a lot. <laughs> And I've learned a few tips, tricks, and really good secrets that I'm going to be sharing today. But it gets even better. Not only are you going to get six great tips from me, but this is in partnership with my friend Beth at 50 Plus Beauty. She's going to be sharing her six tips as well. You probably are already familiar with Beth. She has the channel 50 Plus Beauty, and I'll tell you what, I've been watching her for a long, long time. She is such a wonderful, mature beauty YouTuber, and I'll tell you what, you want to see someone who has fabulous skin over 60? You've got to meet Beth. Beth and I are fairly new friends. We have just been chatting on the phone so much and having a great time getting to know each other. We have so many things in common, and I know that you're going to have a lot in common with her as well. Her channel is a wealth of fabulous information for mature women how to stay vital and healthy and just looking your very best over 60. She is a fabulous example of that and I have learned so much from her over the years. Beth is going to be sharing her top six secrets as well and I know that you're going to want to hear about them and you know what, me too. We don't share beforehand. I'm gonna be hopping right over there to find out what her tips and tricks are. I'll have Beth's video listed down below, super easy for you to find. Make sure you go on over there, give her a like, click the subscribe button, and stop by in the comments below the video. You're going to love Beth. She is such a gem in the mature beauty community. We're gonna hop right into my six top tips, tricks, and insider secrets. And as always, all products that I mentioned today will be listed and linked below. So super easy for you to find, and with that, Let's hop into it. My very first tip for a successful and effective anti-aging skincare routine is to make it easy. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you what, when I launched on my skincare routine two and a half years ago, I just wasn't in the habit of taking care of my skin. And you know what? It's not that I'm lazy, but I don't know that I like to do things that I'm not excited about. And skincare, both morning and evening, is something that I include in my routine, but I wasn't necessarily excited about it. When I first got started, it was a little bit of a hassle, but I have learned some things along the way that make it a lot easier for me to stick with it. I have found a few things that really do that for me. The first is these little headbands that I put around my hair before I start washing my face. I'll tell you what, when I first started, I would just put my hair behind my ears or clip it back with a clip or something, but it would always end up falling in my face, always end up being a hassle, and it just made it an unfun situation. Now I have these little headbands, they have a little Velcro strap, I put it around my head, get my hair out of my face so that I can get to my skin really easily. These come in a little three pack. They are so handy. I always use them. This has been a great addition to make my skincare routine easier. Another thing, and this is where it gets a little bit weird, <laughs> and I know that. I have shared this before and I'll tell you what, this is one of the best tips that I can give you right now. One of the things I hate about washing my face is having the water roll down my arms when I'm splashing it on my face. Oh my gosh, it would get inside my pajamas or my robes, make the sleeves all wet. It was just so unpleasant. I didn't like that. Well, I came up with a very easy, inexpensive solution for that. These are little wristbands that I put around my wrist before I start washing my face and they stop the water from dripping down my arms. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck are these? They're just the tops of old socks. Truly, I had a whole bunch of old socks that I hadn't gotten rid of. I cut the tops off them. I keep them in a little bin in my bathroom, and I put these on my wrist before I wash my face or even rinse it off. 
It keeps the water from running down my arm, making the inside of my sleeve of my pajamas or my robe wet. Don't like that a bit. These save the day. The next tip is so important to a handy skincare routine. And when I came across these little bins, I knew exactly what I was gonna use them for. These are the bins that I keep my skincare in. I have one for AM, this is the AM, and I have one for PM. What this does is it makes it really easy for me to go through my entire skincare routine, boom, 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 down the line without having to think about it. I'm generally in the bathroom without my glasses on, so I have everything lined up in the order they're going to go. This is my AM bucket. I have a PM bucket that's in the same way. So I am able to pull this out go on down the line with my skincare, put everything on, and then slide this bucket back into the cupboard. This is so handy and it makes my skincare so easy to do. In addition, if I'm going to change something out or add something new, I simply just slip out this bottle and put the other bottle in, and I know exactly what order to do my skincare routine in. This is a super handy way to keep everything organized. I found these buckets at the dollar store. I'm sure you can pick them up anywhere, Target or Walmart or even Dollar General. So keeping your skincare organized by AM and PM in a handy little container like this will make things a lot quicker and a lot easier. When I first started my anti-aging skincare routine, I did most everything wrong. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. It took me a while, about six months, to really get in a rhythm understand what anti-aging skincare was really about and figure out a good routine for me that was going to be very effective. When I started my skincare routine, my skin was very, very rough. And if you wanted to see what it looked like two and a half years ago, just go on over to my channel, scroll down to the very bottom, and you'll be able to see how my skin looked then and be able to compare it to today. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started my anti-aging skincare routine was I went out and bought a whole bunch of products and then just started slathering them on my face which is exactly what you don't want to do. And the reason is, is that when you're starting an anti-aging skincare routine and you haven't really taken care of your skin, which was me, there are a lot of old dead skin cells in layers and layers and layers on your face. I had so much dead, ruddy skin on my face, I don't even know how I thought these products were going to get in and make any difference. One of the things that I recommend now is if you're first starting an anti-aging skincare routine, that you just spend the first four to six weeks washing your face, exfoliating your face, wearing moisturizer and sunscreen. That will really get you in the habit of taking care of your skin. It will also help to get rid of all the old dead skin cells on your face that are keeping your skin from looking bright and fresh, clean and clear. The important tip I want to talk about today is that don't stop exfoliating your skin once you've gone through that initial process. And I know that I have fallen into this trap from time to time. I really try to exfoliate my skin in a really significant way at least once a week. That really helps keep my skin fresher, brighter, a little shinier and clearer and gives those fresh new skin cells an opportunity to come to the surface. My favorite exfoliator is the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. I love this and I've been using it for over two years now. This is a wonderful little formula and I have talked about it several times on my channel before. You can see it's a bright red color which I appreciate because when I put it on my skin I can really see where it is. I use this once a week, I get my face nice and clean and then dry, apply this all over my face and leave it on for 7 to 10 minutes. Then I just rinse it off. Although it says peeling solution on the bottle, my experience is not that I see any skin actually sloughing off in the next few days. It's more of a gentle peel, but oh my gosh, does it make my skin look clean and fresh and bright. This formula is super affordable. I think it's like $7 at Ulta, and I've had this bottle for probably six months now. You can see I'm just now getting to the bottom. There are lots of ways to exfoliate your skin. You can do a major peel once a week or use something a couple of times a week that's going to help keep your pores open and your skin fresher. 
These are a couple from The Ordinary. This is their salicylic acid 2% anhydrogenous solution. This is a new product from them. They suggest using this morning and evening, targeting the areas of your face where you get clogged pores. I know for me that's in my chin and on my nose. Another option is also from The Ordinary. This is a toning solution, glycolic acid 7%. So there's lots of ways to keep exfoliating your skin throughout the week. You'll just need to find the one that's perfect for your skin type. The next thing I want to talk about is how to choose products and devices for your skin. The way that I do that is I am always on the hunt for something that's going to increase collagen production on my skin because collagen is the name of the game with more mature skin. We start losing about 2% of our collagen a year after age 25. Now 2% doesn't sound like much, but I am 65 now, so I have 80% less collagen production than I did when I was 25. Oh my gosh, that's quite a bit. Because I'm 40 years down the road from 25 years old. And think about that, that is not only just 80% less this year, it was 78% last year, 76% the year before that. It's the year over year loss of collagen that really creates that more aged look of our skin. When I'm looking for a new product or a new device to add to my skincare routine, one of the first things I look for is collagen production. Does this stimulate collagen production and elastin in my skin. As you add things to your routine, keep an eye on whether or not it's going to encourage collagen and elastin production. That's gonna help diminish fine lines and wrinkles and help your skin look a lot bouncier and firmer. That leads to the next tip, understanding the very best way to add new products and devices into your skincare routine. The way that you want to choose things to add into your anti-aging skincare routine is to decide what the next goal is you have for your skin. Often I'll see people buy a product and then not know how to use it and not really even know why they're using it. For me, that's a little bit backwards. The way that I handle my anti-aging skincare routine is I'll notice the next issue that I want to start addressing and then I'll go out and look for products or devices that are going to meet the needs of that particular issue. In other words, think about your skin first and what your next goals are for your skincare routine. Start doing research into products or devices that are going to address that issue. When someone sends me a message and says, I just bought this, where do I put it into my routine? What I know then is that they really weren't ready to buy that product because you absolutely want to know why you're buying it, where you're going to fit it into your routine and what skincare issue that it's going to address. So put your skincare needs first before just falling in love with the latest product because that product may or may not get you to your next goal. The fifth tip is about hyaluronic acid. And I'll tell you what, I'm waiting for someone to come out with a toothpaste that has hyaluronic acid in it. It is just the hot ingredient and everyone is sticking it in everything. What I want to talk with you about is how hyaluronic acid actually works and how people can really make a mistake with applying hyaluronic acid to their skin. The way that hyaluronic acid works is that it's a molecule that attracts moisture. It's kind of like a little sponge. And what a sponge will do is that if you put it next to something, it's going to start drawing the moisture out of that object and sucking it up because it's a sponge. That's what it does. Hyaluronic acid works exactly the same way. So when you put it on your skin, you want to make sure that you're also giving it something that it can pull moisture from. Oft times people will put hyaluronic acid on their face and not follow up with a moisturizer. What's gonna happen is that hyaluronic acid is gonna start drawing moisture from your skin or from the air. It's gonna go anywhere it can to look for moisture to pull from. If it's your skin, it's going to end up making your skin look drier and more aged because it's actually going to pull moisture out of your skin to plump up that molecule. If you live in an area that is very, very dry, it's gonna be worse for you because those hyaluronic acid molecules can't find moisture in the air to pull in. 
You absolutely want to follow any hyaluronic acid application with a very good moisturizer so that that molecule has a place to draw moisture from. If you live in a climate that's very humid, boy, you're lucky because your skin is going to look plumper and more hydrated anyway. If you add hyaluronic acid and a good moisturizer on top, you're just going to have the most glowy looking complexion. Hyaluronic acid is an absolute gift to the skincare industry, but using it properly is really important. Make sure you follow it up with a very good moisturizer to help your face look plumper and fresher. And the last tip I wanna to share today is <laughs> something we all know, and that is being consistent with your anti-aging skincare routine. I'll tell you what, that's probably the most important tip I can give anyone. And it's a tip that goes across the board with any new thing that we want to get involved in. That's why I always recommend that when you very first start an anti-aging skincare routine, that you start slow washing your face, exfoliating, using moisturizer and sunscreen, because that's going to get you into the habit. It doesn't do any good to go out and spend a whole lot of money on a whole lot of products to end up not using them because you've just fallen away from including it into an AM, MPM skincare routine. Consistency is the key. One of the most important results that I can say about anti-aging skincare is that it's very, very subtle and it happens very slowly over time. I started my anti-aging skincare routine two and a half years ago and during that time everything I have done I have done at home. I have used effective affordable products in at home anti-aging skincare devices. I haven't gotten any fillers, I don't get Botox, I don't get lasers, I have not walked into a doctor's office in years let alone had anything done on the skin on my face and neck. That's just not the way that I'm doing it. But one of the important things about that is that my results have been very, very subtle over time. And there have been lots and lots of times that I have been using something, whether it's a product or a device, and I thought, you know what? <laughs> this is not doing anything. I'll put it aside and stop using it. And many times I have only realized how effective that product or device was when I stopped using it. Four to six weeks later, I'll look in the mirror and go, oh my gosh, what happened? And then I'll realize that I had set something aside thinking that it wasn't having an impact on my skin. That has happened to me over and over and over again. So one thing I can say is if you're getting discouraged or if you think something isn't working, put it aside and then take a look at your skin four to six weeks later and you might find out that actually it was really being effective, slowly improving your skin day over day and so subtly that you weren't really even noticing it. The last and probably the most important tip I have is be consistent, check your results, and understand that it's going to be a slow and subtle improvement over time. Those are my six handy tips, tricks, and insider secrets for making your anti-aging skincare routine easier and more effective. Make sure that you head on over to Beth's channel. I'll have it listed down below. I can't wait to see what she's going to share. I'm sure there's going to be a few wonderful tips that I can add into my own routine. I hope you found this fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're visiting from Beth's channel, I'm so glad you stopped by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.